Okay, so it's sweater weather, it's kind of cold and chilly outside, so obviously what does that mean? Holiday movies and family themed. Look, no coat. <laughs> awesome. I love Actually. Now, actually, actually, I thought this movie was quite good. Oh, really? First, we'll start, discuss story first. Story first? So There's so many of them. Okay, so what's that, what's that latest movie that has come out that had multiple stories? There's a lot of them. Okay, no, 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 no like it's... <laughs> there's like Valentine's Day, there's New Year's Eve, it's coming out soon. No, 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 um, it's a specific movie, it's multiple stories. Oh, what's it? He's just not into you, he's just not into you. Okay. I detested that movie, what did you think? I, I think all these movies that have multiple stories suck. But... Like, I like the idea of it, though. No, 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 no. But this movie... Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. That movie, if you liked it, I don't care. I think it sucked. Yeah. We're not even going to go there. We're not going to review. It sucked. But this movie, Love Actually, is great. It does uh, it right. The story is, it's multiple stories. It's multi-generational. Yep. You know, it's for people that are married, people that are single, people that have, you know... Have, there's parts where there's with kids, there's... But don't bring kids to the movie. Appeals to all these different people. And no matter what type of person you are, like, personally, you're going to fall attached to one of these stories. I, at least that's how I feel. I feel at least one of these are going to like just grab out at you and you know that's the one you're going to really want to follow. A man and a woman and a secretary. Uh, there's a, a prime man, minister. There's uh, a man and a woman. Yeah, prime minister. Yeah. And there's, there's a boy. And there's a, a wife and a husband and there's all, hey. all kinds oh, of Oh yeah, there's two wives and husband stories. Yeah. yeah. One is like the good kind of like and then there's a, there's a couple that's trying to get back together that haven't been together in a while. You know, a, a lot of things are happening. Oh, and then the writer. And the writing story. Yeah, I actually really like that one. We could be here all day just discussing Okay, yeah, stories. let's continue. Let's all continue. Right. Okay. Multiple stories. There are... It's like a roller coaster ride for most times when you do this. There's like ups and downs, and that's how movies go. But this movie, no matter whenever there's a down, there's always another story that's upbeat. And it plays off one and the other. I loved how they all come together. Yeah. That is the biggest thing with in, this movie. It all yeah. comes together. And it all makes sense in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. And not in the tacky, weird sense that most times when they do it. Like, when you have these movies that are multiple stories, they feel rushed at the end. They're just like, okay, cram it together. They have to, like, commingle somehow. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. So what are you going to say? I uh, completely forget now. I'm thinking about eggnog. <laughs> so this, this movie is definitely one for the holidays, though. Um, there's happier pieces. There's sadder pieces, but... Overall, it's a festive movie. And that's the word of the day. Yeah, I had to do it that way because, you know, when it's Excitement. festive, it's... it's be, yeah. There's multiple feelings. So festive is F-E-S-T-I-V-E, -E, I hope. We should have, like, candy canes or something in here. We don't really look too festive. I guess you get that. I got red and white. Just don't lick me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't taste like candy? <laughs> no. So... Uh, let's get into actors, the actors. Um, Actor, actresses. There's actually... Quite. There's a I don't know their names. Like, well, there's Not Bill Knighty, those. there's um, uh, Hugh, I can't remember his last Keir name. Knightley, Hugh Keir Grant. Knightley, Hugh Grant, there you go. Um, and there's some in there. Professor that, Snape. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's some in there, though, that you know that aren't real big name actors or actresses, but they're still good in this movie. One I like to talk about is the little kid. <laughs> this kid's acting is like amazing. For as far as child actors go, how old do you figure he is? Thirteen? Ten? This, yeah, maybe about twelve. Maybe twelve. I, yeah. I'd say like that's my guess, but he's, he's perfect. Yeah. Well, like, he convinces you of this like innocence of like I just you know I want to be in love during Christmas time, kind of like whatever. But it's it's corny. It's like you know cheeky, but really like that kid because overall I've never seen a better child actor even to this day like going back and reviewing this one a little bit late obviously yeah, I, like Freddy, I like Friday Freddie Highmore still nothing to me he's in a good year I liked him yeah. okay. um, what would you give this one I would give this one a five I like the acting I like the storylines it's a happy movie overall yeah I actually I'm agreeing with you so it doesn't really matter five for me as well this is another movie that I think before all these holiday movies come rushing out this season I don't think there really is many but before they do, this is like us kind of sitting at a bar saying, this is what you have to achieve. Follow us 10 out of 10 eggnogs on our next review. Eggnog to wash that down, maybe? Mm-hmm.